she said. You will never die from any wounds, because you are an immortal ninja. What? Immortal? There are only two ways to keep you dead. Burning, if your corpse is reduced to ashes, or slicing your head from your body. Tenzin cannot be killed? But no one knew. Why can you not be seen? Is it that you have been killed? <laughs> Tenzin-sama is not dead. It's impossible if you didn't know. You have such vast knowledge. Akigen, you told you this? Yes. I find it hard to believe that one of the Iga Ten would reveal such a valuable secret to a stranger. It cannot be. He's still alive. All wounds on you heal completely. When they do, you awaken like a bear from the winter. Such an eye. This is something I feel I must witness in order to believe. Now show us. I thought that was your name. You were dead. I saw your body. <laughs> that was nothing. Those wounds were mere insect bites against my power. During the Tensho era wars, one of the Iga possessed the same ability as you. Being proficient enough to deceive the Koga, he performed his part without as much as a second glance from your people, assuming the identity of a leader of Manjadani. Tensho. You lie. Kizaragi Simon. This is the fate you chose when you decided to steal my identity. Yes, Kagura. Gunusuke sama. Obero of the Iga is no more. I see. Very well done. <laughs> Have you been injured? I'm fine. As is Simon. He fought well. He has infiltrated the Ofuku party using his technique. Hmm. <laughs> Genesuke Sama. As this bloody feud finally comes to its end, my one desire is to stay by your side if you will have me. Keep your touch from me forever. I would still be happy. 
My only wish is to see to your every need. That's all. Please. Please tell me my request is not impossible. If that's your wish, it is not. I know that once the Iga are destroyed and we take dominion over Tokugawa, peace will blanket the land. There will be no need for ninja. No need for me to continue living. My sole wish is to serve you, to give my life over to your daily satisfaction. In this, my duty will finally be complete. Death is coming to you, Oboro. My hands will see to it. Well, I assume you have already heard what happened. Yes, I have. Did you forget the ninja code forbids revealing one's art to strangers? I must. How very foolish of me to forget such a thing. In truth, it has not been terribly long since I became a ninja for the Iga people. I stumbled upon their village a mere 180 years ago. I'm still a tenderfoot, I suppose. Uh. <laughs> you shouldn't sell yourself short. Immortality has greatly sharpened your wits. <laughs> My wits were not the only sharp thing that Koga felt as he coughed up his bowels. Wonderful. You should know that my men have been talking. They say that they saw the slash to your cheek heal on the spot. <laughs> Most of your men have never taken a life. They were so shocked by this new experience, I feel they may have jumped to conclusions. In their turmoil, they must have seen things that weren't necessarily there. Oh, yes. Very soon, at Hamamatsu or Maisika, a Koga woman will come seeking me and I ask of you one thing. Instruct your men to show her no hostility or hinder her arrival. Allow her to pass. It will be done. He rubs me the wrong way. See how crafty you are when I defile your womanhood. Simon Dono. Where is Obero? You must stay close to me, Kagero. Be careful. They are watching us. But why? 
They didn't seem suspicious of me. Do they think you're not who you appear to be? They believe their eyes. It's not me these people don't trust, Kagero. It's you. By these people, you mean Obero. She has no concept of mistrust for anyone. Then who? Lady Ofuko. She does not believe that a Koga could show disloyalty to her people so easily. <sighs> After I told her the story of how I stole your virginity, she said that you were an extremely shrewd woman and that it was me who was the one being taken advantage of. Her suspicious nature runs deep in her veins. But then, why was I even allowed entry to this place? To keep an eye on you. Kagero. Wait, Simon don't know. We must do whatever it takes to earn their trust. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me! I told them all that I made you into a woman who begged for the flesh of the Ega. If we are to prove ourselves what we claim to be, then we must show them that I am not a liar. You must allow this! What is the problem? Lady Ofuku, something awful has happened. This Koga wench we allowed in has murdered Tenzin! She did? Did you find her carrying a ninja scroll? We found nothing. Obero, I want you to cut this woman's throat. You are a cheat, Obero. You brought outsiders into this war between the Iga and Koga peoples. You've wrapped both our clans in shame! And now you've blinded yourself. Don't you think Subagakure deserves better? You're no leader. Obero, listen to me. 
I told Genosuke-sama that I killed you myself, and do you know what his response was? It surprised even me. I doubted it would ever come out of his mouth. Any guess as to what his words might have been? He praised you. He praised you for killing me. your body if I have to use my last breath to do it! Ugh, Why are you stalling? Like Get over there and kill her! These men can't hold me I can't long. stand and no. listen to this anymore! I will not kill her. Oh. Perhaps she is more useful to us alive than dead. How is that? You see, if we hold this woman hostage, Genosuke will certainly come for her. This will bring us our opportunity to kill him. He must be dead before we reach Sunpu. Only then can we take back the ninja scroll. Without this in our possession, the ego will not claim victory. You have great potential. Wait, mister. Do you know how to play this? What is your name, young man? Shinosuke? A good name. I am Ginosuke. Hmm? Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I try it out? Can you play like my papa did? Did this belong to him? I want to be in your arms one last time. 